Hi, this is Kevin from kevinsclassroom.com. Let's look at a third equation. First of all, let's look at a simplify of a third. How do we do it? Well, they tell us this over here. Simplify, for example, 3x multiplied by root x over um, the cube root of x cubed minus 2x over root x. X. How do we do this? Well, can you see they have said minus? They want us to minus it. So, first of all, we can say, hello, over the bottom, okay, I've got this I can simplify down here. I can say that this simplifies to 3x root x and that cube root of x cubed, these kind of cancel, don't they? Leaving me with an x minus. 2x over a root x. When they've given us a plus or a minus sign, they actually want us to do it. So what we do is we find the lowest common denominator, good old-fashioned earlier maths, and the lowest common denominator is x root x over here. How did I get that? I always take the first one and I put it down, and I say, then I go to the next one over here, and I say, do I have you? No, I don't, therefore I have to bring you down as well. My next step is I say, right, whatever's up top here, I bring down in a bracket. 3x root x. And I'm going to multiply it by root x. Why? Because I take this one here and I say, I divide it into the bottom, leaving me with the root x because that cancels out. Then, then I bring the next top. I say, all right, what do I do next? Bring the minus and the 2x down. And I say, okie dokie, here we go. I now take my root x and I divide it in there. And what is left is an x. So it's multiplied by x like that. Now, what have we got? Now I can go and start doing some work on this, can't I? Well, first of all, we've got 3x times root x times root x minus 2x times x, all divided by x root x at the bottom. If we simplify, what is root x times root x? It's x. So that's going to be 3x times x minus 2x squared over x root x. That is going to be 3x squared minus 2x squared over x root x, is it not? Now the last step is to say, well, 3x squared minus 2x squared, okay, is going to give me what? 1x squared over x root x. Now I can cancel out at the top and the bottom. And that's going to leave us with an x on top and a root x at the bottom. But we, here we go, we never leave a third or a root in the bottom. What process do we do? We rationalize, rationalize the denominator. Rationalize the denominator. How? Some people call it the magic one. I just say you just multiply it through by root x over root x, whatever that is. Well, then I get on top x root x, and at the bottom, root x times root x is that. Oh, look what happens. I end up with it cancelling out again, and I end up with, let's just do it properly, I end up with just root x. Like that. Quite straightforward. Thank you for watching, and there's loads more on the website. Enjoy. Ciao.